A slowing world economy, high oil prices, the age of austerity. Not in the world of luxury cars, though. Ten years after Porsche launches Cayenne SUV, other ultra-high-end brands are also getting in on the SUV act. And Stephen Engel takes a spin around the Beijing Auto Show. Right over here is the car that's getting all the buzz. This is the Urus from Lamborghini, the first SUV from that company in two decades. Remember in the mid-80s, they had the Rambo Lambo. Didn't do so well. They have bigger plans. Okay, it's still a concept, but bigger plans for this SUV. Also for the China market, the CEO and president, who happens to be right over there giving another TV interview. That's why we can't get closer to the car. He says they could probably sell about 3,000 of these cars a year. And this is the luxury SUV that comes kind of started things all off a decade ago, if you can believe it, the Cayenne from Porsche. And the CEO tells me they're going to give it a bit of a facelift again next year. They're also going to release the new smaller version, the Macan. The CEO, though, tells me he has some exciting news as well for the Panamera. We will also offer a long version, a long wheel uh, version of the car and uh, a plug-in hybrid, so that will push the volume of the Panamera. And this is Maserati's offering in the SUV space, the Kubang. Now, it's still in the concept stage, but the CEO tells us they will bring it to manufacturing in the United States by 2014. And then, logically, we would see it in China sometime after that. We are planning for not more than around 20,000 of these a year. And I can imagine China to account for approximately 30 percent of this volume. Not to be outdone, Bentley has its own concept luxury SUV, the EXP9F. I hope they come up with a better name if and when they finally do put it to production. But the head of the company tells me he is confident he can get VW board approval perhaps as early as this year. It looks very optimistic. If the product comes, I would like to see it in 2015 in the market. And what would an SUV story be without Land Rovers? You can see this one just made an 8,000-mile trip. 50 days, one millionth discovery from Land Rover. It's also going to help the International Red Cross. As you can see, it has not had a bath in the entire trip. But what the heck? It's an SUV. It's not supposed to be clean. And over here, you have an SUV inspired by Victoria Beckham. Women at the end of the day probably decide. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, are you going to start catering a lot of your cars more towards the female taste to younger taste? It's in the nature of the business that these vehicles, for instance, uh, being a little bit smaller, are definitely going uh, definitely more in the direction of younger. So in China, like the rest of the world, the female buyer has a lot of power. Dieter, over here. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News, Beijing.